Um, hi, Ty. Thanks for coming on today. Can you tell me a bit about this demo that we're going to be looking into? Yeah, so hi, Kitana. Yeah, nice for having me today. So um, today we want to talk about the demo that's running on SMC V200 uh, system. It's a brand new V200 Blackwell from NVIDIA. And we have it work with Llama 4. And uh, I'm going to show the demo that uh, we running Llama 4 on the V200 locally. And we running something on the slide so you can check with the model and see how its performance look like. Okay, cool. We're going to be using the Llama 4 model on the V200. Mm -hmm. That's going to be one of the local systems. Do you know how many of the GPUs we'll be using for this? Yeah, so the system was equipped with eight uh, Blackwell. Okay. But, uh, we're only using four to running this demo. And it's a full uh, resistance. Okay, cool. Yeah. So let's run through it. If you could start this off, I will be watching. Yeah, so uh, on uh, the Slack channel that we have is uh, we have to invite um, the model into the jar this way. Okay. So the I have already configured the model that say we can use it for Slack and then they can communicate with the back end using the socket. Right. Understood. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we have a web socket that connects to the model? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So whenever you want to check with the AI part, just like ChatGPT that you're using on your phone app, uh, in Slack, you just have to mention the part. And then you can ask it any question. You can say hi to it to be nice. <laughs> yeah, we start with that. Hello. Oh, cute. Okay. It's like, how, um, hello again. How are you doing today? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. And then to ask in anything, uh, again, we mention the app part. And then you can ask in about anything like, uh, tell me, uh, what you know about uh, FFT and IFT, for example. Okay. Uh, see if they can understand what the shortcut of that. Right? So, okay. So it'll just take a minute to... Yeah, so they take a little time to running on the back end, and then basically they fetching back into the front end running on Slack. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look so, how quick that was. Okay. And we can also have some fun. So. You can also um, ask them about the image that you input. Okay. For example, like tell me uh, uh, what you see in this image, right? And then you can uh, input the image. I think I do it this time. So I have the image of the pizza, right? And then there's a lot of things on the pizza, so I gotta say it to Lama. Okay. Um, so the nice thing about having on Slack is pretty much anything I do, uh, the team member in the Slack channel can also see it and using it as well. So I say um, picture of the pizza and then I ask him, uh, tell me what you see in this image. So it's a multi-model. So yeah. you can ask questions with the image, text, audio, PDF, and so on, right? Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's do something fun. It's like uh, create um a recipe <laughs> to cook this pizza all right so you're just adding in some text mm -hmm. let's see if it can identify that we want to have a pizza and we want the recipe for that pizza yeah so this is a test to see if the uh, model uh, like lama they know what i'm talking about right because uh, mm -hmm. we already said the pizza pictures and then i just mentioned about the pizza See if they understand, is it the pizza that I'm talking about? Yeah, no, and it's like actually pretty spot on with the whole recipe. So cool. can you go over how you came up with this demo and why you chose Model 4 from Llama? Yeah, so Llama 4 is actually the latest model from Meta. They just released a couple months ago. Yeah, okay. And the nice thing is uh, they totally changed the new architecture on the model. So from something that have been working on in the past, they move it to something called mixture of expert model. Okay, mixture of experts. Yes. Okay. And Can you uh, elaborate on what that is? Yeah. So they the model is still using a couple layer in transformer, but they do have new layer that you can be very flexible. They having uh, active uh, parameter running, so they can utilize the power of the model better, and you can have a bigger model uh, with more uh, hundreds of parameter. And one more thing the Llama 4 also doing is uh, they having the big context lane up to like 10 million of context. Wow, yeah. okay. So they're able to process a lot more data, mm -hmm. right? Yes, correct. Okay. 
So I'm so happy to see it because um, uh, it's a multi-model. So some of the things like video uh, image, they do take a lot of tokens. Yes. So this is great. When they have the long contact lane, then you can do a lot of things with the PDF. You can see it at the image. So the PDF, we have the table, we have draft, we have chart in the PDF. They will understand all, everything about those information. Okay, so for example, like if we took one of the product pages from Supermicro, like the B200, and we went on to upload it, we could ask a lot of questions on that specific document and we'd be able to give us specific res yeah. results. Yeah. Okay, yeah, one second. We're gonna look up the Supermicro B200 and we are on NVIDIA HGX, mm -hmm. introducing NVIDIA Blackwell Solutions. Let's scroll down to, might as well look at the data sheet for the liquid cooling. Yeah. We'll just download this, mm -hmm. and then go back into Slack, and then upload to, upload to computer, yeah. and then at Llama, mm -hmm. Llama Scout. Um, can you tell me the main benefits of this product. Okay, so I get your request. So that's nice. It tells us a little bit that it needs some time to read the PDF. And then, wow, it gives us nice highlight. So the PDF that we saw is two pages. It's pretty dense. The interesting thing is that it has images and text, and it's not necessarily completely organized, it would have to chunk it up into the larger context windows. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So do you mind if we go behind the scenes and kind of like mm -hmm. see what you did to make this happen? Yeah. Yeah. So I can say a little bit. Thank uh, you. Okay. So on the, um, uh, so this is the terminal that I'm connecting to the system right now. Uh-huh. Right. So we, uh, we have the system with the eight Blackwell and checking this NVIDIA SMI, so you can see his uh, eight car is running. Um, I'm currently using four car from zero to three. Okay. Uh, the four car is actually using to running something else that we will share with you guys later for yeah. another video. And uh, so in one of the section here is I have the log of how uh, uh, the responsibility when we ask in the question and how the model respond. So basically this one, is running a Docker uh, container. Okay. And the Docker container is taking up to uh, uh, first four car. And inside the container, I have a log that uh, uh, recording all the output uh, with the VOM back end, right? So during the run, we can also perform and, and see how the model taking up the KB cache usage, uh, refresh cache hit rate, uh, those kind of things. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, one more thing I want to show you is actually if you're running something right now, uh, maybe just ask a quick question. Okay. So I'll ask a quick question. Yeah, yeah. actually, let me try something. Yeah, okay. Uh, tell me a uh, summarize of this uh, book and who is the summarizer right there. Right. So I have the book up by uh, Romeo and Juliet. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna upload Romeo and Juliet and we're gonna ask the model to go over that book, get a summary, and then tell yeah. us about the characters. Yeah. Okay, cool. The uh, relationship, right? Okay, so this book is like uh, 700 pages of PDF. Understood. And uh, we wanna see like how the model um, reacting to this kind of the environment. Right. So they loading it right now um, with the new request. Right. So this is what are the back end running in the VOM. Okay. Yeah. So they tell me that they add a request into it. Okay. And then they take in like six thousand three hundred twenty nine tokens per second to wow. process this okay. request. Right. So with the average throughput is about thirty second uh, thirty token per second. And they will tell that how many KB cache uses of refresh cache hit rate also, right? So as you see here with the Llama 4 model, it's a 100 billion parameter. So it takes about like 200 gigabyte to load the model full. And then the remainder of the memory will be using for uh, serving the model. 
and uh, I using four car um, of the black well. So you see, based on the KV cash usage that they telling me, it's not much of the usage they are using for it. Understood. Process. Thanks for ex explaining that. Yeah. So let's come back. Um, okay. So we really return me something, right? So Romeo, Juliet, written William Shakespeare, blah, 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 main character. And they're also listing all the characters in the book and what they're doing, what they're playing, the relationship between them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. Now that we've gone over some of the demo and uh, some of the background, see what yeah. we have a, a second account where we have the same model set up and we have a couple of our team members in this. This one? Yeah, so okay. the nice thing about Slack is they allow you to create channels uh, and then you can just invite a model to it and you're having able to use it for different purposes. Okay, we're running the back end is VOM, so they can serving multiple concurrent users. Okay. Yeah, and the longer context line you have, the longer um, memory that you have to fit uh, the model for serving, the more concurrently user that you can serve the model. Understood, okay. So in this channel, we have a couple of our team members. We have about five team members, and we've invited the model. So we have multiple concurrent users, and they're able to query basically whatever they're interested in in this channel. What's interesting is we have one of our bosses, Thomas, asking, can you analyze this photo? What's going on? And it's able to probably identify that there's this little kid chasing ball across the street. So that's pretty impressive for computer vision. It's able to really like identify that there's a human in there, uh, correctly identify the colors, the shapes, and honestly, very fine details. Then he asks, is this a dangerous situation? A valid concern. There, it's identifying correctly that there's potentially hazardous factors to consider, with traffic, distracted driving, the ball, supervision. Like we said, we're using Slack. So Slack is kind of like a messenger tool where you can query any group of people and upload information and documents. Could you explain what Bolt is for us? Yeah, so Bolt is actually is a quick way to communicate between um, the back end and the front end running on Slack. Then okay. And they do have the library that allow you can write in the web socket for this communication. Um, they can using a lot of things to query what happened in Slack. For example, like user information, you can know all the user in your channels, in your team, like where they located, what's the real name, what's the username for that, and so on. Oh, so, ah, yeah. very cool. And then um, we'll dive into Llama 4. This is going to be the latest Llama model from Meta, and it is a mixture of experts model. So it's a multimodal model that came out in the last couple of months, and we're using the Scout version, right? Yeah, so there's uh, three different kind of model for Llama 4. Mm -hmm. um, so I have Scout running on the B200 right now. So Scout is a more smaller model compared with the Maverick. Mm -hmm. So, um, and they're quite different. So Scout, they do have like up to 10 million context length, okay. while the other one is only 1 million. Uh, scale is about like 100 billion parameter, and the one the other one is uh, around 300 uh, billion parameters. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, that was a wonderful overview. Thank you very much for your time. I hope to see more demos from you in the future. Yeah. Thank we you. Will. Thank you.